Okay, we're going to take a look at the Turnbull Stakes um, at Flemington on Saturday. Um, 2,000 metre, 750k group one for four-year-olds and up, um, set weights and penalties. Um, having a look at the betting market initially, Romantic Warrior is the favourite at 2.20. I just feel it's unders. I've got a little bit against it first up off a decent break. Um, got it rated $16. On top, we've got Ossipenko, 5.20. Currently available at 6.0, minor overs. Second top rated, Sulcum at $6. Um, currently available at 8.0, 2.45. Uh, third top rated, West Wind Blows, $9. Currently available at 7.50, minor unders. Uh, fourth top rated is El Patroness, the real value in the race. Needs to gain a start, first emergency at the moment, currently 35.0 and 7.0. Uh, fifth top rated, Bright You Are at 14.5. Currently goes around 21 and 4.6 minor overs or decent overs. Um, more a place chance than a winning chance. Uh, Romantic Warrior 16, as I said, that creates a value in the market, um, being so short, occupying 45% of the betting market. Uh, Spanish Mission, 17.5, very big overs, um, 201 and 41. El, El Bodegon, um, 23.0, just got a feeling it's going to improve, 151 and 31. And Uncle Bryn, 25, um, currently available at 46 and 9. So there's decent value in the race. It's not a big confidence betting race purely because um, Romantic Hut Warrior is really hard to put a line on considering it's first up with a penalty here, um, with the Cox played its major aim. Um, on top, as I said, Ossipenko 5.2, Sulcum 6. Uh, they're both overs. You can back both of those with a, with a mild degree of confidence for a winning result. Um, if El Patroness gets into the race, it's also worth nibbling at, at the 35 and 7. Excellent place value. Um, and two that spark interest at massive odds more from a place perspective um, are Spanish Mission and El Bodegon um, which are both triple figure odds at 201.41 and 151.31. and 31. It's going to take a look at the top few here. Um, Ossipenko which we've got rated on top we'll look at it first. Okay well bred by Piero out of the Henry the Navigating Mayor Roscova. Um, good USA family comes into this fourth up now uh, drops two and a half kilos on its last start run in the Maccabi Diva uh, when it was good through the line behind Mr. Brightside and Alligator Blood over 1,600. Better suited here out to 2,000 metres. Um, likely new peak for this preparation. Looks the top elect. Second top is Sulcum, uh, which is absolutely flying at the moment. Superbly bred by Frankel out of the Manduro Mare Ribbons. Uh, first up from a spell. Impressive winning the Heatherly over 1700 at Caulfield. Uh, then went to the Underwood. Flash big closing pass, only beaten 1.4 by Alligator Blood over 1800. Better suited here at Flemington over 2000. Drops from 59 to 56. New peak expected third up from a spell. Uh, the five West Wind Blows, the European import. By Tia Filo out of a Machiavellian mare. Um, Machiavellian mare, West Wind. Uh, bred to stay the trips tr strongly. Jamie Spencer up, um, significant booking. Five from 12 winner, loves 2,000 metres. European form, hard to fault. Um, third top rated at $9, in with 56 and a half. Ticks all the right boxes. The second a pole driver with changing of the guard back in third in the Hardwick was a good prep run for this, um, or a good form reference run for this, given a soft prep in the Winter Hill. Um, last time out of Windsor, over 2,000. Um, well placed. El Patroness at 35 to 1. Needs to gain a start. Is the first emergency at the moment. Bred to stay the trip strongly by Seamus Award out of an O'Reilly mare. Last start third to Amelia's duel was very good. Sneaking up in the, along the inside over 1,400. First up from a spell. Um, only beaten 1.5. Got a feeling that the inside was slightly worse that day in the Let's Elope. Uh, form Frank by Amelia's Jewel. Will come on again for that out to 2,000 metres second up. Looks very well placed. A um, few weeks between runs stretching out 2,000 metres. 
Danny O'Brien trains John McNeil up, drops from 55 down to 53. Um, well placed here, 2,000 metres, suited. $11, we've got it rated fourth best, available at 35 and 7. If it gains a start, it will run a big race. And the other two worth nibbling at um, that we mentioned previously from a place perspective and could improve are the 13 and the 14, Spanish Mission and El Bodegon. Um, Spanish Mission, well bred by Noble Mission, out of a street cry mare. Um, six from 25 winner, ran third in the Australian Cup last year uh, in 2022. Long break from then into its first up run behind Mr. Brightside, beaten 9.4, drops from 59 down to 55, out to 2,000 metres second up, better suited under the conditions, back at Flemington again, um, could easily improve. High class horse on its day, um, and can't deny Peter Moody when he takes a horse to a group one race like this. Uh, El Bodegon, the other one, Ran third in a Cox Plate in 2022. Um, third up, has done nothing first and second up. Gets to a more suitable Flemington track now. If it can find its Cox Plate form again here, it has to be given some sort of chance. Uh, the fact that Chris Wallop brings it here for the Turnbull uh, suggests to me that it's not without hope at the 200 or 150 to one. Um, 150 to 1, the $31 a place is worth a minor nibble. So that is the Turnbull Stakes on Saturday, race 8 at Flemington. Uh, we've got a better round, Romantic Warrior, look for value elsewhere, only a mild confidence betting race, um, but some potential big results if things go our way. Thanks.